All right, Chili here. Let's take a look at the solution to the tutorial five homework. Now we had to, first of all, we got to create two boxes, right? Two targeting boxes. So if we take a look at game.h, here's what I've created, the user variables uh, or the member variables. They are X and Y coordinates for box one, the fixed box, X and Y coordinates for the mobile box, and a boolean that is going to store the state of whether or not they are colliding. Pretty straightforward, right? Then in game.cpp, we've got some code to draw the boxes, uh, and I'm just creating some local variables here to store their uh, the colors. Here, we're using the colliding state to determine what color is going to be stored in the variables. And then we draw based on, you know, the X and Y member variables. And in update model, we're going to update the uh, X and Y coordinates of the mobile box depending on what buttons are being pressed. Pretty straightforward. I hope this was nothing new to you guys at this point. Now, the real question is how are we going to detect whether these two boxes are colliding or not, whether they're overlapping each other, basically. Now, in my opinion, the best way to do this and the most common way of representing your boxes is not by their center values, but we're going to represent them by their sides. So you're going to have, you know, four sides and those sides are going to have, well, the, the left and right sides are going to have X positions associated with them and the top and bottom sides are going to have Y positions associated with them. So we are going to want to define our boxes in terms of their left, right, top and bottom sides. And these can be calculated quite simply depending on the center coordinate and the width or the, the radius of the box. I guess it's not, a, it's not a circle, it doesn't have a radius, but you get what I fucking mean. The box five pixels from the center to the edge. So if you want to calculate left and right, you subtract five and you add five from the X coordinate or the X component of the center. And then you would, you know, subtract five and add five from the Y to get the top and the bottom. Now we can make some pretty logical observations about this system here that will lead us to the answer very quickly. We know that, uh, let's call this box one, box two. All right, now we know that if box one, if its left side is greater than the right side of box two, which means greater than this, anywhere in this region, we know that they cannot overlap, right? Therefore, x dot left at least has to be less than x dot right of box two, because if it's greater than, it is in a non-overlapping region, okay? So, x left of box 1 must be less than x right of box 2. Now, the same holds for right of uh, box 1. x right of box 1 has to be greater than x left of box 2. Otherwise, it's in this non-overlapping region over here. So, we've got two constraints. This one has to be less than, this one has to be greater than, and that will put it in this region. But they can still, it's still not guaranteed to overlap because the Y, they might be out of alignment in the Y direction. So you got to do the same thing for Y. Uh, namely, uh, Y top of box one has to be less than Y bottom of box two. It's got to be somewhere. If it's greater than, then they're not overlapping. And y bottom of box 1 has to be greater than y top of box 2. And if you, if they satisfy all four of those conditions, then that means that it's got to be somewhere in this region here, and they must overlap. So how are we going to do that in code? Well, first things first, let's, let us calculate the sides of both of the boxes. So for example, to calculate the, uh, the left side of the mobile box, we take the X coordinate of the center of the mobile box and we subtract five from it to get the left edge. We can add five to get the right edge and we can do the same thing for the Y component to get the top and the bottom. And it's the same deal for the fixed box, right? So if we do that, we get something like this. Now comes the fun part. We have to, uh, we've got to test that our four conditions are being satisfied. So we'll put an if statement in there. 
And first things first, so we want to check if left mobile is going to be less than right fixed. That's condition one, but it has to satisfy four conditions at the same time. And that means we're going to be using an and, a logical and operator. So left less than right, right mobile greater than left fixed. And the same deal for the top and the bottom. So if these four conditions are being satisfied, then colliding is equal to true. Otherwise, set colliding to false. And I believe that should just about do it in case, unless I fucked something up, which is also possible. It happens from time to time. All right, so, so far goes so good. It hasn't crashed yet. Moving our box around, getting close, getting real close. We're satisfying a few of those conditions, but not enough of them. And if we satisfy all four of the conditions, lo and behold, we get a red box. Beautiful. And that's about it. That's the homework. I uh, hope you didn't have too much problems with it, but if you did, I hope this was helpful to you. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon with some new C++ knowledge bombs.